I'm going to show you how to use this editable free Google Slides template to um, create a resource that you can use with your students if you find yourself needing to do distance learning, teaching without students in the classroom, remote teaching, whatever you want to call it, using materials that you already have. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Google slide um, document and find whatever materials you might want to fit into each of the slots. The way this is arranged is by color. So Monday, all of Monday's materials are yellow, all of Tuesday's materials are teal, and so on. So the students can see a cohesive um, theme throughout each day. This entire presentation is editable. So you can edit a note that you might want to um, send to your students every single day. Um, you can customize the checklist for each day and students can use these stars to check off their list when they are finished with a task um, and then drag it back for um, to reuse the following week if needed. Um, and then also an area for you guys to type notes back and forth, notes from the student and notes from the teacher. And again, these are all editable so you can change the wording however you want. And then a little table of contents where students can see um, on which numbered slide to find their assignment. These are also editable. You can choose to remove these or find your own icons to fit your needs better. I just kind of included a few for example purposes. Finally, every single subject area is broken up into its own group of slides. Every school is going to have different subjects um, that they're teaching. So I just included some of the basics and the same template throughout. So this is where you are going to want to um, use the editable features to put your own content into this document. This is where the general um, activity will go and I'll show you that in just a minute. This is a clickable area where you can either type in your instructions to your students or you might choose to upload a little video explaining the instructions and putting it right in this area. And down here is a spot for an answer key. If it is something that requires an answer, this mostly applies to math, you can move this star to the side and edit these so that students can self-check their answers once they have finished the activity. Okay, so in these areas, you are going to find some um, materials that you already own either by searching on your computer or searching your purchases on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, I recommend searching for things like paperless or whiteboard or digital, things that you can easily use in distance learning as well. Now, I have already gone through and found a couple different materials that I would use for writing. So for example, I have these morning journals I use in my classroom and I love projecting them onto the whiteboard and these would work great for a distance learning situation. So let's say you want to copy this prompt and put it into your slides. I'm simply going to take a screenshot of the portion of the screen that I want to use. And that's that. So I'm actually going to copy a couple of these because this could easily be a week's worth of writing prompts for my first grade students to do easily at home. If you want to send your students home with some sort of spiral notebook or um, packet of papers stapled together, they could do their work easily in that packet so that you can see it upon their return to school. So you would just keep going through all of your um, materials and screenshotting things you think you might want to use. Um, let's see here. For math, I have this set of games that I use. Um, this is a third grade one, but we'll use this one just for an example. Um, and on each slide you have some math problems where they need to total up the number of 
sorry, the amount of coins that they have. So same thing, you would just screenshot it. Um, and then let's do one more for reading. I really like these paperless exit tickets um, that you can go through and pick. There's actually a ton of these. Um, let's see if I can show you all the ones to choose from. So there's a ton of these ones, which would be really useful for my phonics or reading or math. So let's just click on one. Um, let's go to reading since we didn't get anything for reading yet. Let's do comparing and contrasting characters. Okay, so this is a really simple prompt for reading that can be used with this product. So you're going to go back into your Google Slides and where you have this blank area, you're going to go to your desktop where you have all of your screenshots available and you're going to just start dragging images wherever they fit in. Okay, so for math, I grabbed those money slides and I'm not going to do all these. I'm just going to show you maybe let's do three examples. The reading is right here. Okay, so we're going to go back into this so it's full screen and here's where you get to customize your activity. Resize it however you want. Um, not really that important, but right here I'm just going to type in answer the prompt in your notebook and draw a picture to show your answer. Okay, easy. Now I don't need this for this specific one, so I'm just going to get rid of it, delete, and that's that. Okay, now for the next one, math, this is a little different. So right here I'm going to add, um, I'm going to say, first let's add a text box. I'm just copying and pasting this. And I'm going to give each one of these a, a, and let's call the other one B. So it doesn't have to be fancy. You guys can change the fonts and stuff if you want, but I'm just doing this to show you. Um, so then I would say, write the amount of money in A and the amount in B. And then you could add something at the end if you want, if you make it more um, involved or challenging. How much money is there all together? Okay, whatever you want this to say, you can change it. Now, this is a good place where you would put your own answer in. So you could move this out of the way and give an answer for A and one for B. Obviously the one I did before this was for fractions. So let's see, 81 cents, okay. You get the idea. People would, I'm sorry, students can move that out of the way to self check if you want them to. Okay, and you're just gonna keep going through the slides and adding your own directions. So I would say, read a book, for 15 minutes, answer questions, draw a picture to show your answers. Easy, right? So they just literally have to follow the directions of everything you already have available for you, but this is just an easy way to make it digital and to make distance learning um, a little more manageable. If you have any questions, you can email me at Aaron at elementaryedu.com. You can also visit my website at www.elementaryedu.com. And you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, but I really, any questions you have, please email me and I'd be happy to help. Stay well, my friends.